welcome back to Barnett Barbecue. Um, we're going to do some smoking and some grilling. Uh, simple, simple. Uh, we're going to do uh, some hamburgers. About something that I always do for my cook, especially after a long cook. Anytime you do a long cook, you want to do some maintenance on your grill. So longevity, better taste, and less ashy. Because uh, I heard some bad uh, comments about triggers getting kind of ashy. Well, you got to do your maintenance. So simple maintenance is... Now getting a small straw bag, <clears throat> you know, and a plastic bag, vacuum out, dump the ashes. It's real good. This is what I'm talking about. For people who don't have a trigger, think about going in the trigger. Um, very simple. This is a deer ash box, uh, no fire. Uh, it just dumps it in there and a gold plug, lots of pellets. Pretty good. And all you gotta do is you keep the ash to a minimum, you know, because uh, it is like a convention where you know, it's, it's a, like a turbine in there. Depending on your heat, the bigger the more pellets inside the box and where the fan blows more, uh, harder. So uh, I always clean mine after a long cook. And after a long cook, you know, things get messy. Even the drip rails, I clean my drip rails uh, into the bucket. Bucket that you don't need to worry about, you know, your drip bucket. It's outside drill bucket. <clears throat> so I change that every now and then. Every two cuts, you know. But anyways. <clears throat> uh, I always get the old size foil. And also you won't drip in the middle. But anyway, the exercise uh, heavy duty foil is what I use on the trigger. Set that on there. And then what I do is uh, always treat my grates. Try to keep them clean. Just like that. Then you know, then uh, whenever you do your preheating, you know, then I just do a little cleaning because you know I always clean it. Then I treat it. Then I put the meat on. Uh, so now. Um, that away. I've already got my hopper filled up. Now I'm using that uh, blend that they have. The trigger has the blend. And uh, there's the hamburgers. I need to even treat them with anything yet. But uh, what I've been going to treat them with is some of this gourmet rubber. Which, you know, my family intends to like it. Tastes pretty good. Real good flavor. Uh, not very much. I only do one side of the, the meat. Then I just flip it. Just I did it. And the last time I did it, it turned out wonderful. Uh, my kids really like it. I really love it. Uh, it's a totally different flavor from the grill. So uh, I'm gonna see you in a minute after it gets, you know, ready to put the meat on. So okay, uh, I got the grill, uh, the smoker going up to 225. Let's go ahead and heat the grill up. The, the, the griddles up. So I can go ahead and clean it, get it prepped, not see spray, non-flammable, so it's real good. Don't have to worry about flares. Uh, some higher people using like spam. I mean, okay, uh, on the griddle, that's fine, but uh, not on open flame. Anyways, that does real well for me, so I'm gonna heat up this right here. Uh, I'm fixing to put my season on to let them sit about maybe 10, 15 minutes, half hour. Most, you know, so uh, let that sit out. Not too much. Uh, you know, it to be perfect. I know it's lying down, but uh, I'm let, I like sitting it on a little bit. And just let this thing bring up. It's already starting to smoke. I'm already hitting it. The pellets drop. So, uh, see you in a bit. Temperature's over like 200 degrees. 
Uh, it should be good, getting ready. Just go ahead and clean off the grill. Just go ahead and set the meat on. Okay. That's what we're gonna do real quick. So it's just rubs right off. No scrubbing, no nothing. That's the reason I kind of like that nonstick. Because it, it really does a good job. Thing I do the temperatures is like a hundred okay while the trigger I'm going to close it okay it's going to continue to smoke okay what I like to do now is go ahead and bring my temperature up all the way to 350 okay what it's going to do it's going to smoke like a train to try to get up that temperature and it's going to infuse the raw, soft meat with smoke. So we're gonna check on them in about another maybe 15, 20 minutes. Okay. We're trying to get good. The seasoning. Yeah, they're getting just about raw. We want to flip them. So uh, we're going to check back in about 15 minutes, okay? Okay, cool. Now, they're just where I like them. Look, it's not enough right here, but come in and look, it, look and listen. Okay, look. See all that? They're nice and drippy. Sweaty, real good. So. Look at that. Fifteen Barnett Barbecue. Okay, well, it's been about ten minutes. I can't stand it. I've been listening to them over here. Uh, they're calling me, so I'm gonna go check on them. See how they are. Uh, they're looking pretty good. They're smelling great. So we'll check back in about another maybe 10 minutes. Barnes Barbecue. Okay, last time. I'm gonna flip them one for them one last time.
Things smelling great. Tasting great too. Not really. <laughs> See you in the back in about 10. Barnett's barbecue. We're gonna do our final flip and I'm gonna position them, you know, on the uh, portion of the grill. And, or, you know what, I'll go ahead and put my upper rack on. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put my hamburger buds to let them start toasting, okay? Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Those are still going to drip. <laughs> I don't want to get them on the bun. Okay. So we're going to let them go like this. And I'm going to turn this up. Turn it 375. See, 375. And I uh, wish I had some toasted bun. And very, very good smoked. Remember me. See you in a bit. Doing now is uh, we're taking our buns, making sure they're coming off nice and toasted the way we like them. Uh, on this trigger, there's no open flame, so you gotta watch it the way it is. The, the heats are more around the sides and it's center. So let's check on them. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. We can't talk to bun on a trailer. <laughs> they don't know what they're talking about. Well, well, the holes are gonna be a little bit longer. But look how good that does. Nice and soft. Juicy. Juicy. It's a juicy smoky burger. They just need to make a phone that smells. Cause, oh my god. A burger on a Traeger. You wouldn't want luck. Tell me you can't toast on a Traeger. Toast. Toasty. All of my toasting. Toasted bun. Toasted bun. Look at that. Let's make that toast on the trigger. Uh, this is something I do after all my cooks. down to the shutdown mode. Oh, 
Huh? Basically. Toasted smoked burgers on a Trigger Pro. There we go. Ordnance Barbecue. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.